Hey, yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Tin you Scene 1, and today we're gonna continue, uh, you know, where we left off in the last episode, which was reloading. And we're gonna just, you know, continue with the basic stuff. So, I, if I remember correctly, we covered uh, the muzzle flash, shoot, shoot sound effect, the, uh, uh, this this part, and, and uh, I don't know. And this uh, these two were basically left, and I think I'm gonna leave this for the, uh, you know, later episode. Really short one, don't worry about that, and don't forget the dank memes, but of course, because, you know, without them, it just doesn't fulfill everything at all. And I have no clue what this is, okay, just don't, just ignore this, okay, this, this is, this is useless, okay. Anyways, uh, so, um, oh, and I really apologize for not, for, for like, uploading this tutorial really late, because I've been really busy, and, uh, I just, uh, yeah, I just got time, finally, and, yes, I will... Really try to keep up with, uh, tr try to keep up my pace, and uh, hopefully upload multiple tutorials a week. And yeah, so let's get right on and do it. Which in in uh, during which, by the way, uh, you know. Just uh, something interesting. Uh, I got so confused in this that I actually had to record this thing three times, I think. <laughs> You know, I just got too confused at all because last I coded this was months ago. And, you know, you, I don't use this formula really often, so I just pretty much got confused in this. <laughs> anyway, so we got the reloading as well. The reloading works, but we need a proper animation, and we need to be able to properly shoot, basically. How do we do that? Okay, this is going to be a bit different, okay? So we're going to create a new function, and we're going to call that... Uh, I think we're going to create a new function. I'm not really sure entirely. I think we might not have to create a new function, actually. Yeah, we're definitely creating a new function. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're gonna create a new function first of all. Maybe first of all, maybe second of all. And we're gonna call this uh, private void do reload. Okay, and basically this do reload will, I think in turn, uh, I think this will be the one responsible for playing the animation. So we can say, we can create a new variable inside of the, uh, what can I say? The animator, and we can see animator controller. So I'm gonna say anim dot set trigger. We're gonna create a new trigger. We're gonna call this a reload. We'll call that reload. First of all, we're gonna pretty much uh, I don't know. We're gonna, I don't know. Maybe just trigger it. So yeah, maybe we can just set the trigger and we can reset it right away. I'm not sure. Let's kind of go back and see what happens. So we, we're gonna go back to the animator window and we're gonna pretty much create a new trigger and we're gonna call this reload. Now, if you remember correctly, we had a really interesting reload animation which was uh, horribly uh, made by me. So we're gonna pretty much use that animation. Uh, so if you go to third-party assets, models, FPS, and we have uh, animations, I believe. And inside of it, we have reload. So just gonna drag and drop this to the animator controller. So what we want to do is, I think I'm going to actually jump to the reload instantly, basically, instead of playing through triggers. I mean, this is this is the more optimal way, but you can actually play, uh, you know, jump to uh, and states if you want, because that's not that's not bad at all. You can pretty much jump. So I'm going to just jump to the state. I'm going to just uh, have make a transition, which will go back to the idle. So uh, yeah, we want to uh, play the animation entirely, and we want to basically go back and. Uh, there we go. That's nice. Okay. So let me kind of go back to this state. I'm going to pretty much say, instead of setting the trigger, I'm going to say, uh, you know, anim dot crossfade and fix time. And I'm going to crossfade to the reload animation. And in 0 0.01 uh, seconds or something, basically this is the transition duration. You know, we don't want it to be too much because, yeah. So, uh, when, whenever we pretty much run out of bullets, instead of playing the reload, we want to play the do reload. Now, in some cases, this might seem okay, but in others, it might not. So, we want to, I think we want to pretty much check for certain things that if we are reloading, or if we are not reloading already, 
then only we want to play the reload animation. So we can go down to this part and we can pretty much check for things. So what we want to do is we're going to go ahead, we're going to copy this fixed update statement. And uh, I think we're going to actually create this, make this a public variable maybe. Uh, I'm just going to copy this actually. No, 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 no use for this much, not much useful. And we're going to pretty much paste it down here. And here we're going to make it a slightly bit different. So we're going to say, okay, if info dot is name, oh my god, what the, his name is reload. So then we're going to basically return. Or we can pretty much say if info is, is not named, then we're going to play this, okay? So basically, uh, if we are already in the reloading state, then we do not want to play it again. We don't want to play it over and over and over. Basically, so if I go back and I try playing, I'm, I'm not sure if it's gonna work at all. Let me actually turning uh, turn down the current bullets like one. Yeah, that works. I can't. You can see I can't shoot any longer either. And okay, well it's it's not loading either as well. So so yeah, and also I think we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna pretty much add the same state uh, or or actually uh, a better wise a more wise thing would be to actually create a new variable, a new private variable down here, which we're going to call private bool is reloading, which we're going to pretty much basically check or use to check if we are in the reload animation or not. So if I go back down to the fixed up, I'm going to say, okay, uh, is reloading will be equals to uh, info dot uh, is name. Reload. So if we are inside of the e reload animation or a reload state, then is reloading will be true by default. No. And we can pretty much, uh, I think we can pretty much just say if we are reloading and return. And the same for uh, the shooting. So, or we are reloading. This is a pretty long statement, most likely not very, uh, what I can say, preferable. But yeah, this is how I did things. <laughs> okay. So, we got all the basic stuff done. We are reloading and that all stuff. Now, we also want to be able to, what you can say, okay. We're done reloading, we want to go back. So let me just kind of see if I go back to this. It, uh, yeah, I want to be able to go back because I remember that when I tried, it actually still went on reloading or something. So what if I go to like two? Okay. All right, all right, we got back. But you, you can pretty much see that, you know, the bullets were not reloaded. Now, there are two, two ways to which we can pretty much, um, you know, do this thing. We can going to add in the actual bullets. One of which would be that we can pretty much check that, okay, well, are we in the reload animation or the reload state? If we are, then what we can say, then we're, we're going to check, okay, well, if we're in the end of reload animation, are we at that specific time in the reload animation? Say we want it to say that the bullets are loaded when we are here, almost. And we're going to say, okay, yes, we are in this. We are. We have made it through that much time. And then we're going to reload the, uh, the bullets. And that is one way to do it, which we can do through code, through this code, or we can pretty much go to the state itself and we can add an individual behavior to this, which I think is called state machine behavior. I don't know. But uh, I think I'm going to go with this way, which I think is, you know, something which you can learn as well. It's not, uh, it's pretty good, I think, in my opinion, but yeah, it's, see for yourself so the way I'm gonna do it will be pretty horrible though so let's see so I'm gonna call this uh, reload I'm gonna create a new script actually yeah a new script I'm gonna just call this well let's let's call this reload state or something and create an ad and now that we have this we're gonna pretty much go ahead and open this up it comes with some basic uh, okay yeah, it comes with some basic, you can say, functions, which you can see, whatever, whichever functions you want to play, pretty much apply it all. So, um, what I want to do is I want to say, okay, well, uh, I want to play this on the update, I believe. Or we can actually make it on, on, on state exit as well, but I think I'm going to play it on the, on the update. Actually, yeah, pretty much. So, we're going to say something like, uh, something called, I'm going to say, public float. Uh, reload time which I'm I think I'm gonna make it like seven or something so what reload time is is basically how you know the percentage of the animation which has played 
So like 0.7 means 70% of the animation when it's done playing, we're gonna reload, or we're gonna execute the reload function from this script itself, okay? Right. So, and uh, basically we're gonna also say we're gonna create a new, uh, just a bool, no publics or private, so we're gonna just call, call this has reloaded, equals false by default. So basically this means that, okay, we have not reloaded yet, okay? So, uh, this is just to make sure that we don't play the reload, and, uh, reload function over and over again. Uh, okay, never mind. Just, uh, and we're gonna pretty much initialize it or pretty much reset it on start, so make sure it's all it's false on the very start. The moment we enter this actual state, uh, this, this variable will be set to false. So, what we're gonna say, we're gonna say, okay, if is not has reloaded. If we, can say, we can just pretty much use the same thing. If is has reloaded, then return. Uh, so if you already have reloaded, then we're not gonna play the on state update. Else, we're gonna pretty much go down. Then I'm gonna say, okay, if uh, and um, no state info, state info dot. Uh, I think it was state info. I'm not sure. Dot normalize time. Yes, normalize time. Basically, it's the the time of the current state is greater than or equals to reload time then uh, we're gonna pretty much say okay well have, have we have reached 70% we've finished uh, playing 70% of this particular animation what do we want to do next well we want to say okay we have reloaded then reloaded is true well we haven't done anything yet but and I'm gonna actually do it in more of uh, you know a hacked way so this is not very preferred, but yeah, I'm just gonna do it. So I'm gonna say, okay, get component. Uh, I think I think we can do the animator dot get component, and we're gonna get the component. So whichever object the animator is at attached to, we're gonna fetch the weapon script from that particular object, and we're gonna go back to the weapon script. Actually, I'm gonna pretty much make this a public, not a private, and we're gonna say, okay, and dot reload. Bane. So once we have reached that specific percentage, we're going to reload. We're going to play the reload function from that particular script, and we're going to say, "Okay, we are reloaded, and we no longer want to reload." And once we exit the state, uh, we want to pretty much basically reset this function so that you know, when, once it, I don't know, I'm not sure if it makes any difference, but I think it does saves it for you know for all and all uh, and stuff. So yeah, just going to do that. Okay, and let's kind of go back to our editor and let's see. So now if I go back to my weapon and I pretty much say, okay, well then, let's try playing it out. Let's make the current bullets two. And two, pew, pew. And you might see that at any, uh, there we go, 30. There we go, that works, that works like a charm. I didn't expect it did work at all, to be honest. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so basically this is the uh, predefined time. Now how do you, how can you tell that 70% is complete? Well, go to the animation. And if you select the animation, you can you can see this yeah, this percentage mark down there in the preview window. And if I pretty much scroll, you can see that the seventy percent is right there. It's almost right there. Okay, not sixty nine. The seventy percent, excuse me, is almost right there. So I wanted to be pretty much to pretty much done reloading around this part. So point uh, I don't know point eight or uh, point eight, let's say. 0.9 it could be maybe let's say 0.9 you can even go like 0.95 or anything but yeah this is pretty pretty much say 0.88 so yeah and once we reach that we have successfully reloaded basically so if I okay the sound is getting annoying to be honest because it's so weird I mean like it's practically sh shady you know yeah we can just shoot again then success okay let's gonna go back and, and finally finally finish the tutorial. Okay, so we don't need to, to oh, edit the script anymore. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna add the manual reloading this time. And we're gonna say, okay, well, we've done the reloading, we can do the manual reloading. So we're gonna say, okay, if, if input dot get key, I think, get key down and key code dot R. So if we press the key R, we hold, not not hold. This isn't a hold. This is just pressing. If it's down, if you have pressed it down, not not releasing it. If you have pressed it, okay. So you pressed it. We're gonna play the. I'm gonna say, okay, well, do reload. But before we do reload, we wanna make sure that we. Uh, what can I say? 
we're gonna make we're gonna pretty much you know uh, satisfy certain conditions so we're gonna say okay if we are let's say if current bullets is less than bullets per mag and current uh, and uh, bullets left bullets left is greater than zero so if we you know our current bullets basically they're not equals to 30 or whatever which is defined which is the maximum bullets uh, the, the magazine can carry and it basically we have more than zero bullets to be actually able to reload and stuff so we're gonna pretty much execute the do reload which plays the animation the animation itself at some point plays the you know uh, this this function which in turn reloads the uh, or adds in the bullets so let's see uh, what if I shoot I press the R key bang there we go let's see if, uh, if this works there we go we got two more bullets in our weapon there we go we got a properly functional you can say system this time and I don't know if you can hear me now in this noise because I can't hear myself and uh, yeah, the bullets, the, the magazine's still stuck. I don't have any proper sound effects prepared for it. So yeah, you can pretty much create your own system with this. And you can add some sparks to it as well, which could be basically like something like, okay, well, we hit it something. We can say, all right, let's let's, let's spawn something. You know, I'm going to pretty much cover that next time because I've, oh my goodness, I've, I've really, really dragged this video. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. And I'm sorry, I'm a bit sick at uh, sick these days not six <laughs> and uh basically my winter vacations have come to an end and i will be making videos much much or a lot less often now is that is that deep enough or uh, is that a uh, more is that kind of emotional does that make you cry oh also i want to kind of change my videos a bit slightly so maybe uh you know not not all the videos i don't want them to be game development really only because you know my channel is basically anything so i want to add more gameplay videos i mean my last gameplay video was practically so bad that it failed and it, and it brought my channel downwards and, and all <laughs> but and uh, i want to pretty much um make some you can say maybe art videos i'm not really good in art but i'm i think i am okay-ish in digital art and stuff uh, and uh yeah most mostly you know anime characters drawing and stuff like that so yeah so maybe if you want to see those or if you want to see more of my gameplay videos where i try not to curse and i will most definitely not curse as you can see i'm a very calm man you know so yeah, please do let me know in the comments below and thank you so much for watching, you know, I've been really surprised and moved by your, you know, your, your response and, you know, all the, all the response for, for this video and for, for the FPS tutorial series and how much people are liking it because to be honest, I don't find it helpful. <laughs> I mean, I don't find it any, any special or any different from most tutorials out there, but I'm really happy. And we finally reached the 1000 subscribers mark as well, oh yes. But uh, yeah, uh, I hope it keeps growing real fast because it's gotten faster. I'm really happy now. I'm super excited. And thank you so much, guys, for watching. And it's 11 p.m. and I should sleep right now because I gotta wake up at like 5 a.m. in the morning. So, and uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one.